Hello, my name is Cassandra Rosebeetle, and I am the director of The Final Veil. I'd like to give you some information about this project. The Final Veil is a collaboration co-created by myself and composer J.L. Marler. It is a 60-minute movement opera based on the life of Francesca Mann, a Polish Jewish ballerina. The show features a string quartet, four singers, and four dancers, all women. Told through opera and dance, The Final Veil explores the remarkable and true story of Francesca Mann, a Polish Jewish dancer who demonstrated resistance and strength amid the horrors of the Holocaust. When Mann was brought to Auschwitz, she and the other new arrivals were sent to the gas chambers and told to remove their clothing. According to eyewitnesses, Francesca performed a distracting striptease, after which she managed to grab a gun shoot and fatally wound one SS guard and injure a second before her own subsequent death. Her actions at Auschwitz tell the story of a woman desperate to spare her life and others, using the tools she gathered as a ballerina in occupied land. In 2019, we performed a work in progress excerpt at Abrams Art Center, which sold out, and we were astonished by the reception that the show received. Um, most people had never heard of Francesca Mann's story, and everyone agreed that it needed to be told. So we decided to take a couple steps back and go further into development, which is when we brought in writer Kate Mulley, whose plays have always focused on historical women's figures. We decided that we wanted her help um, creating the arc of the show, and her writing is going to be spoken as voiceovers throughout the piece. I see the sunrise from my window, traveling south. We're not supposed to be traveling south. We're going to Dresden first and, and then to Switzerland. Then we are going to... The actual libretto composed by J.L. Marler is comprised of found text from Holocaust victims and survivors. Despite COVID setbacks, by the end of 2020, we were able to get a full MIDI rehearsal recording of the score, complete with vocals that the singers recorded by themselves on their own computers. At that point, I went into the studio for a couple of months and worked on the blocking and movement that I wanted for the show. And then I brought in choreographer Catherine Crockett. She's a former principal member of the Martha Graham Dance Company and I thought she would be a perfect choice since Francesca Mann was a modern dancer and no doubt was influenced by Martha Graham. I cast dancers in spring of 2021 and we all got together in the studio, masked, um, and worked out the choreography for the next several months. And at this point we have a really solid foundation to begin rehearsals in April. I have also compiled an extraordinary team of designers who are already hard at work, bringing their creativity and expertise to this show. Late last year, we connected with Nancy Manicharian's The Cell Theater, and we have been so lucky that they have opened up their doors to us and they will be hosting the premiere in July over three weekends. At this point, we are looking for donors and people who would like to be in the executive producer role to help take the show to the next level. We anticipate that this is only the beginning. Um, we hope to tour with the show and we've already been in touch with the Poland Museum, which is located in Warsaw on the site of the former Warsaw Ghetto, which is where Francesca Mann lived and performed. And they're very interested in us presenting the show there. So we are seeking partners who would like to be on this journey with us of presenting Francesca Mann's story. Thank you so much.